Hello, so today I'm going to give you a tour of my spiritual sanctuary. I filmed it this morning in my pyjamas and I waffle on a bit and I spin around a bit too fast a few times and my dog interrupts so there's a guest appearance from Poppy. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. Um, I just want to say I realise I'm incredibly lucky and I'm very grateful that I have this room. So we moved to this house about 10 months ago. And this room was, I suppose it was a spare room, although it's no longer spare, it's very much in use. And we didn't intend to have a house quite this big, but the view, which I'll show you, um, is, is just wonderful. And so we chose this house for the view, but we had a little bit more space than we had planned on or needed. So I have another room, which um, is the office, and my husband and I work from that room, we run a business together. But I, I guess I was always writing at the same desk I was working and it was hard sometimes to switch from work mode to writing mode because I don't view writing as work and it's separate from my business. And I've got a lot of stuff, as you will see in the video. I've got a lot of spiritual tools and books and crystals and various things. And I have a, an altar. And my husband actually suggested that this room become my sort of she cave. So we call it Sarah's Sanctuary or my sanctuary. And it's a place for calm and quiet. It's a place where I like to meditate, I like to read and I like to write. You'll see my writing desk is set up so that I can look out to the view. And it's really become a, a special room for me. It always smells good because I'm burning incense and candles all the time. It's a, just, yeah, a quiet, calm place. And my husband and daughter sometimes join me in here. So it's not like it's just for me but it's, it's my space. I've got it exactly how I want it. I do want to decorate and I've got some new curtains to hang up, but it's almost exactly how I want it. So it's a complete she cave, spiritual den, whatever you want to call it, place to read, meditate, do spiritual things like oracle card readings or spell work or whatever, and a place to write, which is very important to me. My husband said that I should make this my room so I'm very grateful for him because a lot of guys would have said you know they'd like it as their man cave or their den or whatever so I'm very grateful to him for suggesting it and I do realize how privileged and lucky I am that there was this space that I could call my own and and do what I've done with it so if you don't have a, a whole room that you could do this in I encourage you to find somewhere in your home that you can create a little space just for you it could just be that you set up a nice chair or you set up a little altar on a windowsill or you buy a little shed or a summer house and create it outside whatever works for you it could just be a corner a little space that's that's your little sanctuary where you can sit and meditate or read or do whatever it is that you need to do to chill relax practice some self-care because that's so important and I've practiced more self-care since we've lived here and I've had this room than I have ever have done before so so find a room, turn your junk room into your sanctuary, buy a shed or a summer house, or like I say, just find a windowsill, but create your own little space because it, it really, um, uh, it feels good to be in here. It feels good. So I will show you the tour. Um, I apologize. I moved around too quickly sometimes and Poppy Dog walked in and made a cameo appearance. Um, so it's not the best camera work, but hopefully it gives you an idea. If you have any questions, you want to know where something's come from, why I bought it, what I use it for, what the symbolism is, just ask me in the comments below. I'd be very happy to help. If there's something I, I show you and you think, oh, I'd like to learn more about that, again, comment below. I can make more content about that. I'm aware I said I'd make this video ages ago and I haven't, so it's a bit of a long time coming. I would really like to make more content, both on my blog at sarahlouisesmith.com and here on YouTube. So if you want to hear about a topic that I've mentioned before, just let me know um, and I will try and weave it in. So enjoy my tour. Okay, so welcome to the tour. Um, this, um, my husband actually bought me just this recent Christmas just gone. Um, so this is a lotus and I love the symbol of the lotus. I use it on my website. And it's all about spiritual regrowth and rebirth. Um, Eastern cultures use this a lot. And it really, it symbolizes for me something beautiful growing out of the mud, something so beautiful and pure. And if, if you 
Google images of lotuses and you see what they grow from and what they grow to. Um, I just think it's really beautiful and sacred. So my lotus is on my door and then I have this down here on the door handle. So um, this is from the Chalice Well in Glastonbury, whole nother bit of content coming about Glastonbury soon. So that's a key ring I got there. And these are witch's bells, which are for protection. Again, just ask me in the comments if you'd like to know more about anything I show you here. So, it's got... so yeah, bit of protection there. And I've got some black ribbon here as well. Now you might say, what are you protecting yourself from? Are you living scared? You can see the reflection there of my pajamas. I haven't got dressed yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess I'm protecting myself from negative energy, from um, negative vibes, uh, from you know stress from the day, all sorts of things. Right. So let me just pan around a bit here so you can see the room. So it's seven o'clock on an overcast day, so the light isn't brilliant. This just gives you an idea of the room and then I'll go around in a little bit more detail. So first of all, just turn the main light up for a minute. I have this wonderful light. You can see it's rotating and it produces like a nebulous. I find that really soothing, especially when it's dark. It's really bright and effective. Um, and it, I suppose it's great for meditation, but it just adds a bit of something, you know, to the room. I think the light in here is really important and I'll, I'll show you other lights as we go around. But I really love this light. It's a, called a skylight. I'll put below a little bit more information if you're interested in buying one. Um, and sometimes my dogs come and sit in here with me when I'm reading or something and they seem to stand over the beam of the light <laughs> and uh, it reflects on them, which is sweet. So that is shining from there, as you can see, shining up to the ceiling. So as you come in the door here, I have this unit. It's just a standard Kallax from uh, Ikea. And on top of here, I have my spiritual altar. So I'm very much, my beliefs and my connection spiritually are very much grounded in the earth and in green things. I've been learning a lot about green witchcraft lately. So there's a tree of life just above my altar. Love that. As you can see, I like wooden carved things. And then now, if you want to create your own spiritual altar, you can Google loads and loads of ideas and inspiration on the internet. You'll find all sorts of tips and ideas. And it will also say you should do this and you should do that. And this thing should face in this direction and this thing should point north and south and whatever. If that calls to you and, and you like that sort of those sort of rules, then go for it. Um, particularly if you're interested in Wicca, then then there are certain things that I believe you should and shouldn't do. Um, I don't like the word should, though, and I've completely done this by instinct. I have got inspiration, but I'm, it's completely based on my own thoughts and feelings and what I want to do. So um, I always represent the elements. So I've got a candle to represent fire. I've got a feather in this bowl of little goodies, which represents air. Um, I've also got some salt for earth, a shell here, which a friend gave me to represent the ocean. And then I've also got some water here, which is rainwater that I then left out under a full moon. So that's moon water. And then I've got a plant again, representing earth. So have I covered everything? I've got earth, water, fire, air, yep. Um, so I'm sort of representing all the elements there. As I say, I'm very much earth-centered in my beliefs. And so I have a little statue here of Mother Earth, a few crystals there. So um, it was spring equinox yesterday. So I've decorated my altar for, for spring equinox. I don't like a lot of clutter, so I'm quite simple. Um, so I have one of these sort of dolls for each turn of the wheel. I can send you a link if you're interested in where I got those from. They're from a seller on Etsy. So I really love those. So there's a different one for each turn of the wheel. I have a drawer underneath with all different bits and bobs that I use each turn of the wheel to celebrate. And then I also got this, which is actually a head um, headband, I guess you would call it. And um, so I put that on there for spring as well. So this box in the centre, 
this is my manifesting box. So inside there is, well, I'll show you. Let me see if I can open it. Might have to pause for a moment. So inside here, I've got a little card here I was given um, and I've got some more feathers. Um, this is an Irish lucky stone that I bought in Dublin when I was about 18. Um, so you can see what I've written on here. And then I've just basically written on here, I guess they're like, you might call them spells, you might call them manifesting wishes. So I've written things that I want to manifest on here and then I've rolled them up and I've put them in my box. It's a piece of selenite because that amplifies energy. There's a key, again, a friend gave me this, but that's to symbolise unlocking all my dreams and desires. And then there's some bits and pieces in here. There's some herbs, there's some rose petals and lavender. Again, I'm following my instincts here. It's not necessarily any particular reason. Some clear quartz, again, for clearing energy. There's a photograph in here. <laughs> of a holiday I'd like to go on. I've put 2023, but I've already booked another holiday, so that will have to move to 2024 manifesting. Um, then more crystals, and then I've written on bay leaves, just things things I'd like to manifest. So that says healthy body and vitality. I don't know if that's focusing. Um, inspire for novel seven. I'm writing novel seven at the moment, so that's working. <laughs> um, spiritual growth and so on. So. I love having a manifesting box. Um, I go through it now and then and often find that I've actually manifested a lot of the things that I said I would. Um, so you can see here I've got another little spiritual. I always end things with thank you. Thank you, universe, or thank you to whoever is listening, guiding and supporting me. Sorry about my dog barking in the background. I'm going to go and see her in a second. So surrounding this box, I've got green aventurine, citrine and clear quartz. And they are all helpful for manifesting. And then I've got this anchor. I'm going to sort out my dog. I'll come back on the anchor in just a moment. Right. Sorry about that. Ever the professional as you can see I just cobble these together so um the anchor represents eternal life but actually I didn't know that I saw it at the chalice well in Glastonbury and I just felt drawn to it and then I googled it afterwards I, I knew that it was an anchor but I didn't really know what it symbolized and um, so it symbolizes eternal life um this bit at the top represents feminine energy and the negative energy so yeah really liked that um I've also got a few other little things on here I work a lot with dragonflies to, as, as a form of symbolism to let me know I'm on the right track. Um, Himalayan salt lamp, they're very good for purifying the energy um, and just beautiful, aren't they? And sometimes little bits of salt come off, <laughs> off of it, um, but I love that. Um, again, some more crystals. Those crystals are more just because I like them than for any other reason. Um, dog still barking. Never mind, let's move on. <laughs> um, this is just from the range. Um, I love mandala, man, mandalas or mandalas, depending on how you prefer to say it. Um, I'm planning to paint the room. I haven't decided what colour yet. Let me know what you think. What colour would you paint this room? So um, this represents the chakras. There's chakra colours there. Um, I just loved it as a hanging, but also it's a good reminder actually to, to check in with my chakras and see how I'm feeling if I need to work on them. Um, this is just from um, Dunelm actually, um, but I loved that. Again, I work a lot with moon magic and moon energy and do moon rituals. So really love that, had to have it of course. So this is another thing my husband bought me. It's a crystal, crystal shelf and it has that triseca there. So that symbol here, sort of Celtic symbol that represents connection between body, mind and spirit or between mother, maid and crone or any of the three other <laughs> spiritual things we can think of. So up here, we've got a few crystals. I love giraffes. They're all over my house. And then I've put a couple of cards here. They're from the Gabby Bernstein deck. The universe has my back. And a few more crystals there. Is so actually a giraffe on a crystal? I mean, I had to have that, obviously. And an angel. Um, this is, now excuse the walls. Again, need to paint them. As you can see, they're not in a great state. Um, 
So this is the Llewellyn Witches calendar and it has really interesting things on it every month. Really like that. So I've got these shelves. I've got this cute little witch up here, which I bought from HomeSense actually um, near Halloween. Um, and that's me and Gary Barlow. I'm a big take that fan. <laughs> Seemed like the only room in the house that I could really put that. Um, so I've got a few cards and things that, that friends have given me. Um, so that they're, they're just sort of special that I've, I've left out there. Um, I bought this one actually myself, this one in the middle from um, the Chalice Well again in Glastonbury. I only went last week. so. Um, and then it's me and my hubby. Um, this is my a little book altar, as you may may put it. So there are my current books. If you haven't read them, check them out on Amazon. <laughs> little sales pitch there. Again, cards from friends, really um, special messages inside, but also just beautiful artwork on those. Um, so this is a blend I've made of essential oils and it's a spray bottle and it's supposed to be for inspiration. So I have a little sort of ritual before I write where I spray this and it just, it gets me in the mood every time. So it might be a placebo, but something about those smells really sort of invigorate me. And like, it's almost like subconsciously it switches my mind to write your own writing mode now. Um, really like this. I actually ended up with two of these for some reason. So I also have one above my desk in my office. So this is just a little Ikea desk here. Oh, hello doggy. Nearly stood on you, didn't I? I nearly stood on you, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. You're making a surprise guest appearance. Yeah, good girl. So um, so I've got these, these fairy lights. Yep. These I can switch to different colors. So um, that's what I liked about those. So we have green now. Um, so basically this is my writing desk, but I also do oracle card and tarot card readings there and just use it for all manner of things. So I do have my other office where I do my work work and run my business. But when I'm writing, I feel like I need a different space and I'm very lucky and fortunate that I've, I've got this space. Um, so I'm burning incense at the moment. I, I do that most days and have this little bowl. So I didn't want a bin in here. I didn't want to collect trash, right? So, <laughs> but I'm always collecting ash from all the incense I burn um, and matches and stuff. So you can see all the dust from all the incense here so that little bowl is just really for collecting matches and ash um more plants I'm writing books and then here i have a collection of many many tumblestone crystals i'm not on a mission to collect one of each although it may look it may look that way um i've got this cute little cauldron incense burner as well which is nice now the reason i love this room is that it's got one of the best views of the the hills and the greenery outside um i'll show you a few different pictures because obviously it changes with the season so at the moment we've got the pink blossom it's a shame it's an overcast sky today but in midsummer the sun sets right out there so it's a really beautiful view um we see hares pheasants two different types of deer lots and lots of birds including birds of prey so it's just lovely to sit here i've got some really good binoculars and um yeah i can just sit and look out of that view um really inspiring when i'm writing and i need to just stop and think for a bit and we've got blue tits nesting in that little nest box there so that's lovely for me to see so um so yeah i've got the best view sitting here when i'm writing or doing anything spiritual and if you sort of look behind me so when i'm reading or meditating i'm sitting on this armchair over here so i sit on the armchair and get this lovely view sorry if i'm moving a bit quickly there um that brings me back this way actually to the armchair so I just got this in Dunelm, wasn't very expensive. What I tend to do is leave the books I'm reading at the moment on the chair to remind me because I'm basically I have lots and lots of amazing, interesting books and I start them and don't finish them. So at the moment, it's my goal to actually complete all these really interesting books and not just read them, but study them and write a few notes about what I've learned and how I can incorporate it into my life. Not just spiritual books, but 
personal growth books, books about mental health, that sort of thing. So at the moment, I've got these three that I've determined I'm going to read and finish. I've started them all, but I haven't finished them. So I'm leaving them on the chairs so that when I come in this room, I'm not tempted to pick up another, yet another book, but actually to focus on these. And they're great books, so I just need to um, get on with it. So this cushion, another mandala there. Um, that's just like a meditation cushion. So if I want to sit on the floor and meditate, um, it's also great for outdoors. So I sometimes take it in the garden in the summer and meditate on there. So um, these curtains are actually being replaced. Um, oh, let me tell you about that. The, that's a little moon hanging with all the moon phases. And when the windows open, it sort of like acts like a wind chime with a nice sort of noise. So that's nice. Um, sorry, you can probably hear my dog moving around in the background. Um, so the curtains are going to replace. They were here before we moved in. And I've actually bought some eucalyptus curtains. Sorry, I'm spinning around quickly. And they match this cushion. So you can imagine I'll have these nice, nice curtains with eucalyptus. Um, so this light is a Philips Hue. You probably can't see, but it's shining pink. And basically you can change it to any colour you like. You can have it rotate around different colours using an app on your phone. And we have Philip, Philips, Philips Hue um, bulbs in lots of lamps and lights around our house. So I'm just going to turn the main light on. Oh, nearly put my hand through the candle. Need to watch what I'm doing while I'm filming. Um, so this is just a Billy Book case from Ikea. I put glass doors on it so that it would stop things from getting dusty. I've got this another, yet another mandala mat here. Um, I bought this on Etsy, just representing the elements there in spirit um, with the pentagram in the middle or the pentagram or pentacle. I can never remember which is which, but um, I just, I really loved that. So I've got all sorts of goodies in this cupboard. So um, here are some of the many books that some of which I have finished, <laughs> but some I haven't. Um, nice big bit of selenite there. That jar there is an anxiety spell jar, which I put together with my group. Um, and then I've got some crystal books there. So this is my Oracle and tarot card shelf. I mean, yes, I seriously do obviously have a problem. <laughs> so um, these are my tarot decks here. So I'm only just learning tarot now. Um, the Jane Austen one is beautiful, but not necessarily a, a regular tarot deck. I'm trying to use the Rider Weight set, which is the original deck, to, to teach myself. But that Witch's Wisdom one is brilliant. Um, little word here. This is the Goddess Sekhmet. And um, that's a whole other story. But basically, my husband made this model and then painted her for me so that's very special and precious and that's why i keep her in here so that she's kept <laughs> safe from dust or being knocked over by a cat um so these are some of my lovely oracle decks love doing oracle readings and then i've got yet more here and i think there's a couple over there so there you go, lots of oracle decks. If you want some recommendations or to hear more about them, hit me up below and I'll do a whole video on those. There's some um, pent uh, pendulums. I was going to say pentacle again. There's some pendulums there. Um, I use, use those for dousing. Then we've got the all-important sage. So I like to um, burn sage to cleanse energy and negative vibes and just clear the air. Right, look at this. Poppy, are you trying to get that cushion? I don't think you should, do you? Sit down, darling. Good girl, good girl, just wait, wait. Good girl. Right, another little cameo there. So various different things in here. So I've got the sage. Um, this is a lovely little jar of herbs. So I haven't used it yet. I'm, I'm really, I'm very good at buying things and not so good at making time to use them. But um, I want to use some herbs and do some more spell work charging plate here this is a gift from a very special friend and my husband again bought me this this is um, a crystal grid so it's got crystals on it at the moment and you basically write something you'd like to manifest and put it underneath um i again really want to get good at using this singing bowl um this is actually a coaster but it's infused with amber 
and I had a cat called Amber, so it's very special. Um, she passed a few years ago. Um, and there's my cauldron. So I use my cauldron for all different things. That's a whole blog or vlog in itself, but I keep that in here. And there's a piece of black tourmaline underneath, um, which is for protection. So I always keep that with it. So I've got all sorts of things, candles. That is some water from the chalice well at um, Glastonbury. So um, I'm going to do something with that shortly. So this is the wheel of the year. Another gift from my husband. It's actually a piece of slate. So I like to turn it around. So if it was sort of Christmas, winter solstice time, I would have it there as we've moved into a star uh, and spring equinox, I have it here. And then I tend to just put this crystal on the on the date where we're at. So it's almost like a perpetual calendar. Really like that. So matches there. And then here I have all sorts of crystals. So I used to sell crystals on my Etsy store and these are kind of left over, but I use them for different things for spell work or little rituals or give them out to friends. So um, I've got a few boxes down here again, just more sort of spiritual tools and stuff. Um, I've got loads of essential oils in another room. Um, so all these are sort of things that I might use for spell work. Um, there's a wax burner there. That's lovely. So, I mean, I could spend another hour telling you about all the things <laughs> individually in here. It just gives you a rough idea of what, what I'm about and what I'm collecting. I've also got a load of craft things because I'm putting together a grimoire or a book of shadows. Again, whole nother subject. So that's pretty much the tour of my room. Oh, I've got one other thing here. I, I created this on um, Canva and that's partly to remind me how happy I feel when I read, <laughs> but also when I write. So that's just a little inspirational thing. Um, and I've got more things hanging on this door. So this door is actually to a bathroom. So there we go. There we have it. There's the tour of my room. If you have any questions, you want to know where something came from or how I use it or why I placed it in here, then feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd be very happy to help. Um, and I'm doing more and more spiritual coaching these days. So if you would like to work on your spiritual growth and you'd like a one-to-one -one session with me, I will be very happy to mentor you or coach you so you can get to where you want to be. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the dog interruptions and spinning around too quickly. But hopefully, hopefully you found that interesting. Namaste.